guys and welcome back. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make cloth reusable baby wipes from things around the home. So we're going to be using cloth baby wipes so that we can reduce the amount of disposables and the amount of landfill that we're creating with our baby. So I wanted to make some from things that I already had and um, rather than purchasing new fabric and um, I always like to try and harvest fabric from things that I have going spare things that I have that are um, not being used or that would otherwise um, get thrown away or get recycled and um, so that's what we're going to be doing today so I'm going to be showing you three different methods for making um, cloth baby wipes I'm going to make a small batch of each and then once we have the baby, we'll try them out and I'll make more of whichever one I prefer. Um, I don't know which of these options I'm gonna like best. Um, different people have done different ones and that's what they use. So I'm going to try all three and see how we go from there. So the first one that I'm going to be making is from old Jersey fabrics. So I have a pair of um, Winnie the Pooh pajama bottoms. Um, I've actually already cut up a pair of pyjama bottoms um, and made uh, a whole bunch of these ones already. Um, but this is basically t-shirt fabric, um, a jersey knit, so it doesn't require any sort of hemming. You just cut them to your um, six and a half inch squares and you're good to go. So I'm going to show you how to cut up um, old garments to harvest fabric and how I'm going to make um, the baby wipes from the jersey knit and um, the second option that I'm going to go for is the flannel squares so I don't actually have any um, flannel clothing items left and um, James runs really hot so he never wears flannel I had a pair of flannel pajamas which I already used to make my cotton rounds from and um, that was the only flannel item that I had but I purchased this Marvel comic book flannel several years ago for making cloth um, sanitary pads from and um, you know menstrual pads uh, so I'm going to use the remnants of what I've got from that for this project but you could just as easily cut up an old flannel bed sheet flannel pillowcase um, old flannel pajamas anything like that flannel shirts and um, brushed cotton is flannel so any anything um, that you have of that nature that you're done with that's that's no longer um, sort of functional fit for purpose it's it's a nice absorbent fabric eventually <laughs> um, the one thing I would say with flannel is that initially it tends to sort of repel water and then once it's wet then it absorbs water so you need to have them moist before you use them if you're using flannel and the third option that I'm going to do is using an old towel so this is a towel that I've had for many many years um, and it's uh, quite a thin towel but um, it's very stained it's one that I used to use um, when I dyed my hair and things so it's been been thoroughly washed and everything but it's um, it's also probably not so likely to sharp stains in this colour so I thought this would be a good option to use for my toweling ones. So to go with the toweling, because this frays really badly toweling um, when you cut it, you would need to hem this um, thoroughly. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a sandwich with these with some cotton. So I've got all of these um, different cotton squares. These are already six and a half inches. These are from charm packs that I've had over the years for quilting and things. So um, I'm going to use these, but you could equally use an old pillowcase, um, an old sheet, anything like that. Um, you could use flannel for the other side, um, or you could use cotton, really anything that's going to um, sew onto your squares of this, turn it inside out and, and top stitch it to create a nice hem around the toweling. So um, I'm going to use some of these um, nice patterned charm squares that I have. Um, that don't currently have any other purpose so those are the three types of cloth baby wipes that we're going to be making today 
um, and I will do an update video in the future once we've had the baby and we've tried these out um, to let you know which ones I prefer. Um, some people like thinner wipes, so the t-shirt fabric and things like that, which is more like a disposable, very you know thin and malleable and you can get more of those into your little pot when you go out of the house or anything. Um, and some people like the thicker ones because your hands are further away from anything nasty. So. Really, I think it it just depends on what your preference is. Um, also, I think with the thicker ones, because they're more absorbent, you can probably get away with using fewer of them per um, nappy change. So those are the three options that I'm going to uh, prepare today, and I will let you know which is my preferred one in a future video. So let's get started. So to harvest the fabric from an old garment, the first thing you need to do is to cut off any hems so I've just got a pair of fabric scissors here and I'm just going to very roughly cut off any of the parts of the garment that I don't need so one of the things that I like to do is to um, harvest any elastic or any fastenings from any garments when I'm um, cutting them up and put those in my sewing stash so this elasticated waistband I'm going to salvage the elastic from this um, and add that to my sewing collection so in order to get the elastic out of this I'll go at it with the um, seam ripper the unpicker and I'll um, unattach all of this um, stitching and remove the fabric from the outside and then that piece of elastic will go into my sewing stash for future use. So now that I've removed the hems the next step is to turn the garment inside out and to remove the seams. So as these are trousers we've got the seam that goes from front to back and then we've got the long seams that go down the legs so I'm going to do the one that goes from front to back first so you want to pinch the seam itself pull all the remaining fabric away and then just cut that seam out completely and I can separate the legs and I can go down the long seams on the inner and outer edge of the leg. Now I've got two pieces of leg fabric that are completely flat with no seams. And I'll do the same to the other leg. So now my fabric's all prepped and ready for cutting. For this next step I'm going to use my rotary cutter and my quilting um, ruler. So I bought this set together um, on Amazon and I think it was about 20 quid for the whole set and I also got a whole bunch of pins and um, pin clips and things with it as well um, as well as some rubber guards that you can use to stop the ruler from sliding around although um, I don't particularly like those so I'm just going to use this so this is six and a half inches wide and um, so I'm going to do six and a half inch squares so different people recommend anything from six inch squares up to nine inch squares I think it's entirely down to preference as my ruler is six and a half inches wide I'm going to do six and a half inch squares because that'll make it nice and easy for me to cut um, uniform squares so I'm going to take some of my harvested fabric and lay it out flat and then lie my quilting ruler on it and I'm going to cut down one side of the ruler and then cut down the opposite side of the ruler. I 
I'm not very good at doing it on the alternate hand. So I'm then going to turn this around and do the same um, sideways so that I end up with a nice um, six and a half inch square. And as this is jersey knit, this doesn't need any form of hemming as it doesn't fray. So that's essentially one cloth wipe done and ready to go. So I have this um, cloth storage pouch. Uh, it's a quilted storage pouch that I made a few weeks ago. And I'm going to keep all of my dry um, cloth wipes in this pouch. Um, when they're not in use. So this is going to be my storage pouch for these. So I'm just going to fill this up as I go along. And I'm just going to work through all of the rest of this fabric. Any of the um, smaller ends of this that aren't quite six and a half um, inches wide, I'm going to keep because in a future video, I'm going to be using this fabric to make um, newborn scratch mitts. So keep any, any larger scraps of this, any of the little bits and pieces. These make good stuffing for stuffed toys or anything of that nature. Um, alternatively, you can recycle these in other projects like rag rugs or um, making crochet yarn and things. It's very good from this sort of t-shirt material. So um, there are other uses for these little tiny offcuts um, that you can come up with. Next, we're going to make the flannel squares. So again, I'm going to cut um, six and a half inch squares out of this um, Marvel comic book um, flannel that I have um, using my rotary cutter. So I folded this in half and I'm going to cut six and a half inch um, strips from it. And then I'll go along and divide those into six and a half inch squares. even up the top edge and then I'll cut along the bottom edge to create a six and a half inch wide strip. I'll then open that out and lining up one of the lines of my ruler against the um, edge that I've just cut. I'm going to even up the top and then cut along the bottom to create my six and a half inch square. Now you could leave these completely square. The other option is to round the corners. So to do that, you want to fold it um, into quarters so that all of the open square edges line up and then you're going to just take your scissors and roughly eyeball a rounded corner onto that and then when you open it up you'll have a nicely rounded cornered square. Now the reason for doing that is it makes it easier to hem this. So we're going to hem this with a simple zigzag stitch on the sewing machine and um, we're going to start about an inch in from the corner go all the way around and join up again there it's easier to start and finish on a square edge than it is to start and finish on one of these rounded corners so we'll do that with the sewing machine now leftover scraps from making this batch of um, cloth baby wipes I'm going to save and use for making my um, reusable cloth um, maternity breast pads so um, this won't go to waste either the offcuts from my pile of cloth baby wipes so I'm going to sew the hems on those now so I've got my sewing machine I'm going to set it up on a zigzag stitch and then I'm going to start about an inch in from the edge.
So now you can see the zigzag hemmed edges of my cloth nappy wipe. I'm going to do the same to the rest of my stack. So finally I'm going to work on the ones from the old towel. So the first thing I'm going to do is to cut off all of the um, hemmed seams on the towel um, and I'm just going to do that with a pair of fabric scissors. Now I folded my piece of towel in half again and I'm going to do exactly the same thing and cut six and a half inch strips. I'm going to even up the top edge and then I'm going to cut my six and a half inch strip I'm then going to open that up and cut my six and a half inch square. So now I've got a six and a half inch square of the toweling and I'm going to take one of my six and a half inch squares of other fabric and I'm going to lay these right side together so the pattern side of the fabric facing the toweling and I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam all the way around leaving a gap to turn through so you want that gap to be at least a couple of inches wide so that you can easily turn it through. I'm then going to trim off any excess around the seam allowance and clip the corners. Then I'm going to turn it out through the hole. And I'm going to pull the gap tight and then I'm going to top stitch a quarter inch all the way around, closing the hole and edging the entire thing. And then I have a square with toweling on one side and the pretty fabric on the other side and my cloth wipe is complete. So I've got my pile of six and a half inch squares all cut out of the toweling and then I've got these um, leftover pieces which are six and a half inches by six inches so I'm going to save these um, to use with the offcuts of the flannel in making my um, reusable cloth uh, breast pads so this will also not go to waste. So here I've got my three piles of different types of um, cloth wipes. So these ones are all different um, designs with the towel backing. I've got my um, flannel ones here edged with the zigzag stitch and then I've got my ones made from the jersey knit from that um, old pair of pyjama bottoms here. Um, so I'm going to try out these um, different three types and see which is the best. One thing about making um, them look different is that you could potentially have, um, say, one design that you use for you know faces and cleaning up after feeding and things like that, um, and another one that you use for um, you know cleaning up um, nappy messes, so that you can keep those separate if you want to. Um, I've got this storage pouch that I'm going to keep them in when they're dry. So that once they've gone through the wash and they've been dried, they'll go straight into the storage pouch in, you know, just all together. And then when we're ready to make up a pot, we'll get them out of there. Um, I've got these little 
um, Tupperware containers here. I got three of these for a quid from Asda. Um, so these are clip top ones which I thought would be good because they're going to go in the um, nappy bag out and about and things and I don't want the lid coming off accidentally and um, getting everything wet or anything in the in the nappy bag. So um, these ones got little cute owls on these were from another pair of pajama bottoms um, and you just stuff as many of them as you can into the um, box so before you put them in the box you'd make up the solution so you'd have one cup or 250 millilitres of hot water one teaspoon of um, castile soap so you could use the Dr Bronner's stuff but I find that's quite expensive so um, you can get it a lot cheaper elsewhere and um, particularly from soap making um, retailers you know sort of wholesalers and things that sell for people making handmade soaps um, so one teaspoon of the um, Castile soap and then two drops of tea tree oil you don't have to add any um, tea tree oil or even Castile soap you could just go with pure water um, but um, I'm going to add the tea tree and the um, Castile soap um, as those are supposed to be um, quite good for uh, cloth baby wipes. So once you've um, made up your solution you pour it into the Tupperware, stuff it full of your dry cloths, turn the Tupperware upside down and make sure the water's soaked through um, all of the wipes in the tub. Then you can just take a wet wipe out of the tub, use it and then once it's dirty you can put it in a um, waterproof cloth wet bag so I actually bought these they're made with PUL fabric it's cheaper I think to buy um, the ready-made items sometimes when it comes to PUL because the actual raw material is quite expensive so um, I went ahead and bought two um, wet bags this is the smaller one and I've got a slightly larger one to put the nappies in and these will go in my um, nappy changing bag. When we're at home we'll just put the wipes and the nappies straight into our um, cloth nappy pail um, and from there or from the wet bag they'll go straight into the washing machine and be washed um, along with the nappies. So um, one thing to note is that once you've got them in the tub and they're already wet you need to use them um, at least within a week ideally within just a few days so that the, um, the damp um, baby wipes don't go mouldy so I've gone for very small Tupperwares and um, they can still fit enough in for an outing out of the house um, but you'll go through them um, quickly enough that they shouldn't be able to go mouldy before you've finished them so we're going to have a pot to go at the changing station um, for James which is a standing up changing station we'll have a pot in the living room that I'll use because I'll be um, only changing the nappy sitting down so um, I'll have one in my portable setup and then we'll have a pot that can go in the nappy bag for when we go out of the house. So that's the setup and um, that's what we're going to be using. I will let you know which of these um, methods um, I find is our favourite um, and sort of do a bit of a review on how we got on with the different types. Um, but that's three different types of cloth baby wipe that you can make from things you might have around the house. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.